Tsubaki Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Naruto Shippuden episode 420, the 8th Inner Gates Formation. And I am so behind on making Naruto reviews. Like ever since Naruto manga ended and then there was Gaiden and then there was more filler, I've just not felt the urge to review Naruto. But... Naruto was like one of the first things that I reviewed on my channel and I can't just abandon Naruto especially considering that it's not going to be here for a whole lot longer so <sighs> the epicness I have been waiting for this part to be animated since I first read it in the manga and I have to say the animation team did not disappoint the epicness the epicness that was guy going eight gates doing the evening elephant and fucking shit up was pretty fucking awesome like i was hype about seeing this shit when it was first animated and you could see guy like flaming and really like putting the hurt on madara <laughs> was so fucking awesome but seeing it animated and actually happening before my eyeballs was amazing oh my god just was not prepared for the epicness that was this episode oh my god guy is so fucking awesome and then broccoli being there and being able to at least open up to the sixth gate i was like fuck yeah you better do that shit lee lee is so fucking awesome oh my god <laughs> i i was fangirling all over the place watching that episode because madara even madara he was so excited guy is the first person since hashirama that actually made him excited to fight which is saying a whole fucking lot because madara is fucking crazy and the five kages working together didn't even get his blood boiling so the fact that guy by himself was able to do that shit is pretty fucking awesome that is one reason why guy is one of my favorite characters from this whole series because he is amazing and the fact that he is able to master the eight gates way before his father did and the fact that his father <laughs> i love guy's dad Everybody used to hate on him, but I love Guy's dad. He is fucking awesome. I would love to have a dad like that. <sighs> Anyways, I would love to have a dad like Guy's dad because he was awesome. He was a great father, and he kept pushing Guy to do what he knew that he could do. And then showing him the eight gates and then saving his life, even though he had been a guinea his whole life. And he was able to take out some of the, um, some, some of the seven, is it seven swordsmen of the mist? It's pretty fucking dope. So the fact that he was able to do that by himself and he was considered a Ginning makes him awesome. And the fact that Guy was able to open the eight, eight gates and give Madara a run for his money is pretty fucking dope. Guy is fucking awesome, and he will forever be one of my favorite characters from the show. And the fact that he was able to work together with, like, Minato and Kakashi and Gara and Lee all were able to work together to hurt Madara is pretty fucking awesome. Because all of y'all know, probably know, how much I don't like Madara. So, seeing him get hurt or maimed or anything to that extent is awesome in my book. So... <sighs> just the epicness that was this episode and then also seeing Naruto finally talk to Hagoromo. I've been waiting for this part too and if anybody else noticed maybe it's just me it sounds like Hagoromo does sound quite a bit like Lord Third maybe I'm the only one who hears it but it's like a smidgen deeper than Lord Third's voice but he sounds a whole lot like him. Maybe it's the same voice actor. I don't know. But I thought I was so waiting for Naruto to finally see Hagoromo. And Naruto is very slow. I mean, Hagoromo pretty much told him several times that he is the reincarnation of um, Ashura. So when he finally said it, Naruto was like, eh. Still caught me off guard a little bit. I was like, Naruto, you can't be, you can't be that slow, sweetie. Cause he 
pretty much told you this whole time he was talking to you about him and about reincarnation and all that good stuff that you are Asher's reincarnation so the fact that you still didn't notice after he pretty much told you flat out is a little sad Naruto but it's okay though but this huh, and then oh my god just was not oh the epicness and then we got to see Kagi. I was like yes Finally, finally, they finally show Kaguya, who is about to put the hurt in, but, or put the hurt on those people, and who, who is brave enough, who would be brave enough to have sex with Kaguya? Twice, mind you, twice, because her sons weren't twins, but who would be brave enough to have sex? Oh, were they twins? I don't think they were. But anyways, who would be brave enough to have sex with Kaguya twice for her to have two children? Cause, um, but I mean, she, I don't know. She might have just took over their mind and then raped them and made them ejaculate inside her vagina so she could have those two children. Because I personally don't see who would be brave enough to have sex with that woman because she is very scary. Very, very scary. So, yeah. Uh, so looking forward to seeing more of Kaguya. But that is neither here nor there. The epicness. The epicness that was Guy fucking up Madara will forever be ingrained in my mind. But I'm so looking forward to seeing next week's episode animated. Oh, my God. Ah, the awesomeness. The epicness. I'm just... Happy to see Naruto halfway alive and well, but I'm so prepared. So prepared to see the awesomeness. So I would love to hear from you guys. For those of you who don't read the manga, I would love to hear what do you think is going to happen next? How do you think things are going to turn out? What do you think is going to happen with Naruto So and Sasuke, actually? So yeah, so as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And this is Super Kiss Swag saying adios.